Hi, my name is Rebecca Tonietto. I'm a graduate student in plant biology and conservation, which is a jointly offered program through the Chicago Botanic Garden and Northwestern University. And I study native bees in the Chicago land area. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a bee condo, which is a nesting site you can provide for native cavity dwelling bees in your backyard or garden. And this is important to attract native pollinators to your garden. You can increase your flower yield, increase your fruit set. Native bees are more efficient and effective pollinators than many honeybees. It's very easy to build your own bee condo out of any sort of untreated wood you have lying around. A four by four block or even into a deck post or a piece of fallen wood in your backyard, a piece of old firewood, any of these would be perfect and probably free. The only things you need are a drill and a piece of wood. So the first step is to plan where you want your holes, and depending on how you want to display this, you might want to put them in a pattern. Something I like to do is use a dark marker to outline where I want to drill the holes because the dark color actually attracts the bees to the site. I'm going to draw guides for my drill in any random pattern that I want. and then use drill bits of multiple sizes in order to create potential homes for many different species of bees. Using a quarter of an inch or smaller, you want to drill your hole three to five inches into this piece of wood, which is almost to the very back of it. If you're using a drill bit larger than a quarter of an inch, you want to go beyond five inches, so I'd recommend a four by six piece of wood or to use a large fallen log in your backyard. You're going to want to line each of these holes that you've drilled with a piece of paper. Scrap paper works and you're going to roll it into a straw. And what this does is it'll prevent any sort of disease from spreading within your bee condo. So you just roll up a piece of paper, put it all the way into the hole, and then cut it off flush with the front. Bees are attracted to a darker front at the opening or entrance to this hole or potential nesting site. So there are a few ways you can do this. One, you can color in the actual paper straw that you've placed inside. Or two, you can actually color around the hole on your wood piece. Here's an example of a finished bee condo. You can tell these sizes are evenly, or these holes are evenly spaced. And in this example, we've used holes of similar size. And a great way to get that dark front to the front of your bee condo to attract bees is just to leave a piece of wood out for one season. Weathered wood works perfectly. It works best to make two of these bee condos. Leave one out May through October and then bring it in to a warm, safe, dry place like your garage for the winter. Put it in a dark Tupperware container with a hole in the bottom and leave it out starting in the spring. You'll notice throughout the season that you'll have adult bees coming out of that hole in the bottom as they're attracted to light, and they'll want to go straight to your garden because those will be the first available flowers they see. Your second bee condo, you want to already have hanging up starting in May, so when those adult bees are able to lay their own eggs and have their own offspring, they have a new place in your yard to make a nest. It's a way to create a great habitat for pollinators that they'll continue to cycle and want to stay in your garden or yard. On Saturday, June 4th, come visit us at the Chicago Botanic Garden. You'll see me and other garden scientists talking about our research, which includes not only native pollinators and native bees of our region, but learn how to protect your area from invasive species, how to perform restoration, and how to get involved.